So now let's move on to talking about something that I'm not happy about. <laughs> something that I love. Something that, again, should remain untouched. And that is that 70s show. Coming back with that 90s show. Now, we're going to play the trailer for you. Now, just be warned. I'm just, I'm putting out a warning. This is a solid, real deal, no fuck around warning. Just be prepared to have a few eye rolls and have a few bit of, a bit of disappointment if you have not seen this trailer as of yet. Hey, Grandma. Hey, Grandpa. Okay, kids, the basement is all yours. Lights on, shirts on, and no dancing. No dancing. You're like the guy from the loose. <laughs> No dancing, you guys. They go in my room. My foot goes in their ass. <laughs> Sweet man. I think we should just say, whoa. Get out. See you soon. Get out. Don't be a stranger. Get out. Extra icing. That was mine. We never locked the sliding door. We do now. Question, Alanis. Yes. Did you see anyone in that from the old series except for Kitty and Red? No, but I'm glad that Red's there. Because he's the main reason I watched the last show. So, I mean, there's something for me. That I don't think it's going to go as good, but at least that's there. Now, I know for a fact that the old cast do come back, but... These are going to be for small parts. I mean, I had an interview with Topher Grace, and they were like, so how's that 90s show coming along? He's like, it was fun, but I've only done one day, one episode, because um, I have a real job. And I was just like... What's his real job? Podcasting, business, things like that, like home. I think he's invested in homes and shit. I don't fucking know, man. And Ashton Kutcher said it was wild going back. It was trippy. It was a weird experience, so obviously they're back. Hyde will definitely not be coming back due to sexual allegations, rape allegations and things like that against him that he is currently in court battling for and looking like he's going to prison for a long time, which, look, I'm upset about because Hyde is one of my favourite characters. So, now, my problems with this. The person that's playing their uh, Eric and daughter, Donna's daughter, they're, that's going to see their grandparents, Kitty and Red, Acts exactly like Topher Grace, Eric Foreman. Like when he, she's like, you're so funny. No dancing, you guys. And just like one fucking exactly like Topher Grace. And I feel like she watched the show and was like, all right, that's who I'm going to be. And my other problem is this show is so fucking good, that 70s show, and has so much rewatchability and has so – has been one of the best sitcoms ever and bringing it back in this fashion to me, I almost feel like it shouldn't even be the same show because I, I need more connection to the older cast to enjoy this. Like I would love if Kitty and Red had gone and they're now in a retirement home and Eric and Donna own the house and they are the parents going through all of the shit this time that they had to do with Kitty and Red when they were growing up. And they had to see it from Kitty and Red's side. And Ashton Kutcher's kid is just as stupid as Ashton Kutcher. And Ashton Kutcher has to keep coming over and apologizing for him breaking the window. or You know what I mean? Like There was such an opportunity here to bring this show back and make it have way much more connection to the older cast. You don't need them every episode. But to make them at least a staple, 
um, of coming back and being involved and maybe having Eric and Donna as like the main staples that are there every episode and they go visit Kitty and Eric and uh, Kitty and Red in a home and they're just as a, they're worse than ever. Red's like constantly, I'm going to put my foot in your ass. You know what I mean? Just constantly, you know, like there is so much here you could have done with this show rather than just be like, they still live in the same house. The basement looks exactly the same. We're getting a whole new cast. And, yeah, the old, old cast are going to drop in here, in there for 30 seconds um, every season, but that's it. Like, tell me what I just said to you doesn't sound better. <laughs> do you feel it would have been better for them when saying The Connection? How do you feel about them making a new show in the – you saw the 80s show, right, the one that bombed? I think it was, like, one season. Terrible. <laughs> How would you feel about them doing a completely new show and calling it that 90s show as opposed to what they've done here or opposed to your idea? Which would you be more open to? I just, I just prefer none. None of this. Like, <laughs> I don't want them to make a new 90s show. I don't want them to make a 90s show like this that has very little connection to the older cast because, look, I know you like Red and I know there's a lot of people out there who – their favorite character is Red, but the show is not based on Red. Red is the dad of who the show is based on. The, sh the show is based on kids growing up in the 70s, teenagers, Eric Foreman, Donna, Fez, um, fucking Kelso, Hyde. This is the show. The show could have had no parents involved in it, and it would have still been just as good. Now, I'm not saying that Red is not good, and I'm not saying Red isn't a great character because he is, but he isn't what makes the show that 70s show. So to me, bringing back Red Foreman and Kitty as the main connection to that 70s show for this new iteration isn't enough for me. And having like little cameos of two minutes here or three minutes there of older cast per season isn't enough for me either. Um... I just think that if Eric Foreman, Topher Grace, is saying, I did one episode because I have a real job, then Netflix ain't offering him the money to make this his real job. And that's what's scary to me is that remember how much money these people were earning per se episode per season when it was the show, when the show was originally running. Like these people were earning millions of dollars a season. And for the net for Netflix to bring it back and be like, Toe for Grace and Donna and that, do you want this money to come back and do this? And it wasn't enough for them to be like, Okay, well this will be my new job. But Kitty and fucking Red were like, Yeah, that's because Kitty and Red ain't doing shit anymore. You know what I mean? Like and Toe for Grace and that probably aren't gonna accept the role unless it's for what they were similar they were getting similar to back in the old days. You know what I mean? It's probably just they look at it and go, ah oh, fuck that. You know what I mean? So to me, that's where my concerns lie is that they couldn't even get a good enough like incentive for them to all come back to be a little bit more involved, which to me makes this show feel like it's going to have a lot of those sorts of problems. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, how do you feel after I've said those sorts of things? I, um, I don't know. I think... They could be testing the waters and seeing how it goes as well. Like if it does have some kind of, if it does take off, which with Netflix, shit, even when it is taking off, gets axed. I think we might see more of a presence in them in future seasons, but I don't know if it's going to get that far. I don't think so, man. I honestly think this is a big mistake. I honestly think, as I said, bringing it back with more connection to the older cast and having Donna um, and Eric is maybe the Eric and the, um, the the Kitty and the Red this time. And, you know, as I said, like, think about how good it would be having Ashton Kutcher come over and be like, yeah, I'm sorry about my son breaking the window. He's like me, you know. You know? He's always, he's like me. He's like, And they make him put on the idiot helmet and shit. Like, there could be so many good things, you know what I mean? Like, imagine Donna and Eric still treating Kelso like Kelso, but they're, like, much older now, you know what I mean? And Kelso yeah. walks in and he's like, Kelso, you dill hole, you know what I mean? Like, they still are the same. And they're still smoking, you know what I mean? Like, all this shit. Like, there's just so much they could have done, and I'm just so disappointed that this is what we got. Um, 
when I heard it was coming back and I heard that the original cast were all reuniting for it and stuff, I was like, fuck yeah. And then when I heard the the lack of reuniting, I I think we will do a thing where we watch the season and we will review the season when it is out. 